Hello, I'm Carla, and welcome to this week's I and I Poly episode, our holiday edition. Before entering winter break and ending this first semester, here's a yearbook ad on a perfect holiday gift. Hi, I'm <laughs> Hi, I'm Gretchen Elizabeth, and I'm here to sell you a yearbook. I have 17 children, and they're all in this book three times. I'm so excited to look back at their memories a few years from now. This is one of my kids, Cletus. Hi. He's in here about three times. Yeah. He himself is in yearbook. Yeah. <laughs> so much work put into this book. Tons. As a husband of Gretchen Elizabeth, I'm so glad we saved 15 gosh <laughs> buckaroos on this book right here. I got 17 kids, six of which are mine, right? I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. I forgot. Uh, um, make sure to buy your yearbook today. $85 right now, and it will go up. Yeah. To $100! Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Make sure to buy your yearbook. Now, with the holidays coming soon, here's Leah on some credits on friendship towards the power of giving. Welcome, iPoly. Tis the season to be giving. Today, we're going to be walking around the iPoly campus to see how our students and staff will react to us giving them a gift. Let's go. Okay, we're going to be giving Tech a gift. Hello, Tech. For your accomplishments in Tech, how would you guys like if I gave you one penny? Would you? Uh, just kidding. It's a nickel. You can get both. What? What's your reaction? I love it. We love it. Yeah, we love money. Hello, Mr. West. How would you like if I gave you a gift? I would love if you gave me a. Little. All right. Can you hold this mic real quick? One penny. And What's your reaction? What can I do with one penny? You can feel the gift that has given. What does it say that you gave me only a penny? It gives you luck from me. Ah. Luck in life. Okay, I'll take it. Do I report back on any or all of the luck that I have received? Yes, you do. Can I do a follow up? We can. Okay. Yeah. So then I will report back on any or all luck that I received. Okay, I hope it's a very lucky one. I do too. Thank you. We'll start buying lottery tickets. Okay. Make sure to scratch those lottery tickets. I that will. Penny. Oh, yeah, I yeah. will. Hello, how would you like if I gave you a gift? I would like that. All right, can you hold this mic? Here you go. It's a lucky penny for your luck in life. I hope you have a great holiday season. You too. <laughs> How would you like if I gave you a gift? I would love a gift. Okay, can you hold this mic real quick? Yeah. Oh my god, am I getting money? You will have one oh lucky penny for life. How do you th how do you think about this? You know what? I really love this penny because uh, I don't know if you can see him, Anthony behind the camera. Yep. He gave my dad a lucky penny yeah. and he cherishes it to this day so now i have a leah lucky penny and yeah. i'm so excited mm -hmm. so thank you so much you're welcome thank you so much. you're welcome okay hello armando how would you like if i gave you a gift i would like it a lot okay can i give you a gift yes okay can you hold this mic yes here's one lucky penny for life what do you think about this penny? I love it. I think, I hope I can make a wish with this. Yeah, you can. You can use this penny. It's a penny that you use. Alright. Well, I wish for Argentina to win the World Cup. Let's check back on that. Thank you, Armando. Thank you. Happy holidays. give you a gift today um sure all right can you hold this mic for two seconds okay one two all right Zane here's a lucky penny for life what do you think about this well folks well folks 
that's the power of giving. Zaid, what do you think about this penny? Get the penny, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Happy holidays. Yes. Well, everyone, that for you is the power of giving. I give out a lot of pennies today, and I hope you guys appreciate them. Happy holidays, everyone, and back to you, News Desk. As the FIFA World Cup of 2002 in Qatar has been in action, here's a showing of input on the World Cup. The World Cup is currently going on, so today we're going to be interviewing people about their opinions on the World Cup. Hi, I'm here with... Uh, Julian. Julian, in your opinion, is it soccer or football? It's football. Obviously. <laughs> and Julian, who do you go for in the World Cup? Uh, right now I'm currently going for Argentina, and I feel like our victory will I be very cruel or very sweet. And lastly, who do you think will win in the World Cup this year? Well, I feel like Brazil might might make it if they get like hit by a bolt in a power. But, you know, it could ultimately be also France's destiny to make it. But I'm not too sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Bella. And Bella, in your opinion, is it soccer or football? Football. And Bella, what team do you go for? Mexico. And lastly, who do you think will win this World Cup? Mexico. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with... Mr. Daly. Mr. Daly, in your opinion, is it soccer or football? Uh, it's always been soccer to me. And what team do you go for in the World Cup? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, United States of America. Wouldn't have guessed, but now who do you think will win the World Cup? I hope it's United States of America. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Solomon. Solomon, in your opinion, is it soccer or football? Uh, I think it's football, but people call it soccer too, so I mean. Solomon, who do you support in the World Cup? Uh, I support Mexico and Memo we trust. Hopefully we win tomorrow against Saudi Arabia. So. And lastly, who do you think will win it all in the World Cup? I think Brazil or France is probably going to make it, but of course I want my team to be in it too, so we'll see. Right. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with? Eddie. Eddie, in your opinion, is it soccer or football? Soccer. Okay, and what team do you go for in the World Cup? The U.S. And lastly, what team do you think will make it? Brazil. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your responses. Now back to you, News Desk. Now here's Julian with a showing of cross country. Hi, I'm Julian and today we're going to be interviewing cross country members to see how their cross country season went. Hi, what's your name? Bob. Why did you start running? Because it's the only thing that I can do that I don't have to be tall for. Uh, what was your favorite cross country meet? Um, Crystal Cove. It was like near the beach, and then we went to the beach after. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, what's your name? Andrew. Why did you st start running? Um, well, I just wanted to try try it out. Uh, what was your favorite race? Uh, definitely the Crystal Cove one, just because like the place was really nice, and we got to go to the beach after, so that was nice. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Frankie. What was, why did you start running? Because I decided I didn't want to sit around all day and I wanted to become productive. Uh, what was your favorite race? Probably the last one because that was my best time. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Zaid. Why did you start running? So I kind of started freshman year. Honestly, I thought it would just be fun and... Um, I suffered for about a year until it got fun after a while. Uh, uh, what was your favorite race? So I heard everyone else said Crystal Cove, so I guess I won't go with that one. I'll, I guess uh, Mount Sac. I mean, Sac. you could still go with that one. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I'll go with Mount Sac. Honestly, CIF, the whole experience was really fun. And Nathan and I, we always talk about this school, Newberry Park. Um, Lex and Leo Young, they're like their best runners in the country, and I got to see their race after I finished, so that was really cool. Uh, thank you. Okay, I'm Zaid, and I'm here with... Nathan. <laughs> um, so, Nathan, when did you start running? I started running in middle school for a program that I did. Okay, and what was your favorite race this cross-country season? Easily Crystal Cove. We jumped in the ocean afterward, and it was so much fun. Thank you. season. Thank you and on to the next segment.
Looking forward to how they do next season. With the holidays coming up, here's a holiday song that is sure to entertain. Look at the paper. to wish everyone a very happy holidays be very safe out there happy new year and i'll see you in january happy holidays have a great winter break i just want to wish everybody to have a happy holiday have a wonderful couple of weeks you all did an amazing job on your presentations and i look forward to seeing you next semester and have a happy new year I hope you all enjoy the song. Make sure to watch out for administration this Christmas. Now we here we have Angel who will be introducing Gingerbread Hunt in honor of the holidays coming up. Hey Polly, in honor of this holiday season, we've hidden a gingerbread man somewhere on campus and we've selected the best of the best to go find it. Mm. Hey, come on. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> How's your day going? Swimmingly. Oh, it's uh, it's outside. Julian, it's outside. Did you give it to someone? No. Wait, so did we actually hide it? No, you're supposed to. I, no, you said you asked. Wait, wait, you said you were gonna. I asked you to do it before class. Why didn't you do it? I was busy doing I mean, things. Should we tell them? They, they look like they look pretty busy right now. Right. Just let it go on. It's fine. Okay. Right from where I'm standing. Yeah. Like, how big is this gingerbread boy? Like. Like flat Stanley size, but like the flat Stanleys that you get in like second grade. Is it like, like paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I can see him from where I'm We didn't hide one. We're just having people look for it. Yeah, but you didn't hide anything. You didn't hide
Gingerbread man. Where is the gingerbread man? We forgot. So where is he? <laughs> uh, there's a PDF on 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 a computer. Never even printed it. No, we forgot to. <laughs> I'm outraged. Carla and this has been your holiday episode of I and I Polly. Have a great winter break and stay tuned for next semester's episodes.